very, very, very warm welcome to Empowering Morning Conversations. And <clears throat> let me remind you that, you know, life is so wonderful. And who's living this wonderful life? Who is living this wonderful life? A wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary human being who deserves to be loved and respected for who you are. So look at yourself in, in the camera, or sorry, on the screen, look at yourself and say, hi, hello, you wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary human being. You deserve to be loved and respected for who you are. And say, what a wonderful morning. What an extraordinary opportunity for me to live a great day, to live a great life. And every moment, remember, every experience is an opportunity to become a better version of yourself. Remember, every experience, which means all of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory. All of it, the good and the bad and the right and the wrong and the like and the dislike, all of life comes to me with ease, joy and glory. And that's the purpose which we wish to achieve. Right? Like little children, you know, when they get up, they are so excited and they want to play. Hmm? So let's not forget that we chose this game of life, right? <clears throat> we are here because we chose it. <clears throat> so you might as well have fun playing the game. And I just want to remind you that when you play games, you don't choose easy games, right? Games have got rules. Games have got objectives, games have got goals and there is another team trying to make you lose. So games have got obstacles also, but that's the fun of it, isn't it? So I'm really surprised sometimes that we choose the game of life and then when we are playing the game, we are resisting the game. How can you have fun when you are resisting what you're doing? Hmm? So one of the good things about empowering morning conversations is we poke a little fun. We use a little tools. We create some laughter. And we remind ourselves what a wonderful life this is. Okay. And on this wonderful occasion, you know, we have this, uh, uh, he has not yet tied the knot. But he is a free, he is a free man. I that that's true. He's an absolutely free man. I think if we can give him the wings, he, he can fly. He can go to the moon also. He's, no, he's, nothing he's can the, stop him. Nothing can he, stop. Him. He's got the wings, all right. All right. Thank he's you. Thank wings. you. <clears throat> yes. You know, and very interesting that uh, Ashok Ji would uh, appreciate this man. <clears throat> I believe when I look at him, he's got the courage to be himself. He's got the courage to be himself. He's not trying to be anybody else. So think about that. How many of us have got the courage to be ourselves? My request to everybody is please come on camera. Because when people are not on camera, it does not inspire me to speak. Thank you. So question to you, do you have the courage to be yourself? Do you allow yourself to be yourself? It's a very easy question to answer and not so easy also. Because when we've spent a lifetime, you know, <clears throat> comparing or being compared with others. Okay. So much of indoctrination, tumko aisa hona chahiye, tumko aisa hona chahiye, you should be like this, you should be like that. So when we have spent a lifetime trying to come up to other people's expectations, trying to come up to the expectations of the world, you know, like people telling us, hello, do you want to be successful? You should be like this. And if you remain the way you are, you will become nothing in your life. Kamyaab hona hai ki nahi. How much of indoctrination has come inside that we became someone 
And now we believe that I am actually like that. Question is, who are you? What is your true self? And how long has it been since you really allowed yourself to be you? So you, it's, it, it's all right. You can say, okay, okay, I am me. I am me and I am I who became myself after 40 years of conditioning in my life. You know conditioning? Everybody knows conditioning. Pavlov was a Russian scientist experimenting with dogs and used to give them food and ring a bell and they would come running. So after a couple of months, even if there was no food, they would come running, salivating. So if we are constantly bombarded with judgments and influences and shoulds and people's judgments, and then after some time, our own judgments all the time, and our own comparisons with others all the time, you know? So then what happened? I mean, I've seen myself going through that journey myself. At some point of real, uh, time, I realized, am I allowing myself to be me? I mean, what is it that's stopping me from being me? And the day you realize that, you will be the wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary person that you were created to be. Because I believe that God never creates anything which is imperfect. Yes, uh, Kasa? So as you were telling about, you know, when when you're trying to be, uh, you know, like uh, Napoleon Hill quotes, uh, cowardice is not opposite of courage. It's the conformity to the social, you know. Yes. Uh, I'm a completely non-conformity uh, person to the societal standard. Uh, and, you know, uh, as you said, you know, people say there is half truth and there is half lie. You know, uh, you will not succeed in life maybe on a short term but on a long term you will succeed but if you choose to be a social conformity person you will be successful for the short term on pleasing people not being the potential of what you are exactly thank you sir thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so the next question is that if i am not me who have i been pretending to be I mean, what is that persona? What is the face that I'm showing to people? Which is not me. Yes, Reddy Garu. Well, on a lighter note, I'm the person of masses. Whatever they want, I'm behaving. Ooh, are you a politician? <laughs> You're not. <laughs> I get it on a lighter note. So think, what is it that you are showing? Yes, Sagar. <coughs> Sir, uh, for me, uh, right now, I am too afraid to show my, like, uh, my daily activities. It means like something, uh, you know, even I am taking pictures, having video, I am not able to post in social media. I am too afraid, you know, like, uh, uh, it's out of the context in society so uh, i'm too afraid of this and uh, yes sir like uh, okay. yes this one i want to say okay very nice i get it so fear of society is making you not be yourself that's what you're saying correct no yes. being a fear of being you know like uh, just like uh, and uh, and uh, I am like like exploring so many different aspects in my life. Not only means only in spiritual things I am exploring. So so sometimes I feel that uh, I am not able to share my own things also. And uh, even I want to, but I am not able to share because I I I feel that uh, my uh, you know, like uh, the society in Nepal is condition is like that. You know, even the whole country is like that. Whole world is like that. So I I am so afraid of these things, so, sir. <laughs> I think like this. Maybe it's not like that, but I think like this. 
Thank you. Yes, I got it. Thank you very much. So think, who am I being if I'm not being myself? So Sagar has given the answer, why you are being, right? Aap aise kyun ho? My question is, aap kya dikhate ho? Okay. Dikhana ke, you want to be that way only. Because this is not okay, I should be like that. Main jo hoon, wo theek nahi hai. So I should be somebody else. So am I trying to live up to somebody's standards? In any case, are you a fixed thing? Are you a table or a chair? Are you fixed? No, sir. So you can choose to be who you choose to be, right? But coming from knowing who I am really and not being ashamed of it. So the question I want you to ponder over is that if you allow yourself to be you, will that be more powerful than trying to be someone else? So will you be you if you don't like you? If you don't like you, will you be you? Will you allow yourself to be you? Yes, Kasa. So I just want to, you know, just my point of view um, to Sagar's, you know, it is all about no, no, being hang on, you. Hang on. Can you be with the question, please? Otherwise, you're taking the conversation somewhere else. That's over. All right. Okay. Sir. Thank you. So what was the last question I asked you all? Can you be you if you don't like you? Yes, I can be uh, myself and I don't need to show it or to exhibit or, you know. Hang on, uh, did you hear my question? Yes, sir. What is the question? Can you be yourself without liking? Um, no, that's not the question. The question is, if you don't like yourself, can you be you? No. That's the question. No. So this is a question to everybody. If you don't like you, can you be you? If you don't like yourself, will you allow yourself to be you? Will you say, okay, okay this is who I am. And who I am is a wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary human being. This is me. I love myself. I adore myself. So I don't have to be anybody else. So that's one. Second, if you've not been allowing yourself to be you, will you ever find out what your true strengths are? If you are never allowing yourself to be you, right? And you become some other character, will you ever find out what your true strengths are? Uh, Vipanji and then Kasa after that. सर बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन पूछा आपने सर इंग्लिश शुड आई गिव एन एग्जांपल हाउ डिड आई एक्सपीरियंस इट आई यस शुड शुड आई यूज्ड टू बी नोन आई यूज्ड टू बिलीव इन माइसेल दैट आई एम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिजाइन इंजीनियर सिंस लास्ट मेनी इयर्स एंड इट गुड प्रोजेक्ट्स वन डे आई फाउंड दैट आई हैव टू डू समथिंग इन एग्रीकल्चर सो आई बिलीव इन माइसेल बट पीपल डिड नॉट बिलीव I had to tell very easily to my all the clients that I am not an electronics design engineer now because it has been transformed. I don't enjoy, and I really don't enjoy the same thing doing. So I found myself a different person. So I believed in that. I loved that, and now, now I'm doing agriculture. So now, now, now I'm not doing electronics, and I'm confessing with everyone coming to my way from my older profession. They come to me with question. I said, No, I'm not that one now. I'm different. Yeah. <clears throat> so you have you had the courage. See, something made you become an uh, electronic design engineer. That was not you. That's what I'm hearing. And at some point, you discovered yourself. Uh, this is who I am. And now you're living like that. No, it's, I, I believe uh, it's unfolding ourselves different. Me are there inside. Well, once <laughs> I was an electronics uh, design engineer, I enjoyed that. 
I never was away from that. I was deep into that. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, I made one mechanical project and I found I know I know this also. And people complimented, why are you into electronics? You should be into mechanical. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that. But now mm -hmm. when I'm doing this, I I can, I, even if I try to go to electronics, it's very difficult for me because I'm enjoying this. So mm. uh, you should always tell people now who you are and it's unfolding. I don't know what yeah. I will be up to sometime. Exactly. So one has to never, what I'm saying is if you love who you are, you can be who you are and you don't have to feel ashamed of saying who you are and you'll have a great life. You know, recently I was watching or rather I'm in the process of uh, watching a Japanese movie on Netflix, Chiroko. I mean, if you get a chance to see it, you all should see it. Here is a person who's got a courage to be yourself. You know, and what a ball of a time she's having in life. No need for pretense, no need to hide anything. Just be. And in that state, I think we can make choices like Vipanji said. You can choose to be anyone. Not because you have to show something to someone. Not because you have to prove something to someone. You can just be you. So coming back to the question that if you have, if you don't like yourself, then will you see who you really are? Will you be who you are? No. If you're not allowing yourself to be you, will you discover what your strengths are? If you be you, you may discover that you have so many strengths which you never even knew about. You didn't have the courage to do that. Yes, Kasha. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, um, see, it is a completely undefined uh, journey. And, uh, you know, in this similar kind of situation, you know, one of the two, even today, you know, people, whatever, you know, uh, have certain points of view. It's it's their point of view. It is not the reality. So at those times, the tool that I use is everything is opposite of what it appears to be and nothing is opposite of what it appears to be. It's a, such a, such a, you know, the crazy statement uh, helps us to, you know, uh, feeling uh, much relaxed and be in the moment with not being offended or, you know, uh, without any, um, uh, you know, emotions too much being carried away by the emotions. So, so I just wanted to share. So, thank okay, you. let me contextualize this. When you say the crazy statement enough times, it yes, gets sir. you out of the definitions that you have created about yourself in your mind. Yes, sir. Yes, what sir. is definitions? Yeah, you can mute yourself now. What are definitions? Definitions are, I should be like this. All the frames that we put inside, you know, we put ourselves inside some frames. When we say the crazy, we put the world in some frame, we've given meaning to everything, etc., etc., and we are reacting to it. So when we say the crazy statement, it is giving you, getting you out of the definitions. Therefore, it's easier to be yourself. So that's a beautiful thing. Thank you very much for sharing that. Yes, Abhinav. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thanks for uh, you know coming up with this uh, uh, topic. Uh, and I was lost uh, initially, and then I you know just got present to that. You know, when I was younger, I was a very good poet. I used to write very good poetry, mostly in Hindi and little bit in English also. And I was very good in Hindi also, so I could write very very well. But then the conversation uh, when once I passed tenth was no uh, no doctor. Engineer type which one engineer. When should be a doctor or an engineer? And I gave up Hindi after tenth and start stopped virtually writing poems also. And uh, and then from that day till now, I you know because when you ask this question uh, about uh, uh, you know can you be you something like that you asked what is your originality can you do what you really want to do and I got present to and but now unfortunately so Deepak I. I don't even know how to write in Hindi. I've forgotten. I many times I try to write, and then no poems comes to my mind. So I'm absolutely lost in life. <clears throat> trying to please others, trying to come to the standard of others, you know, basically the family, nearby family. 
गाने भी अच्छे आते थे अपने लिए जिए तो क्या चाहिए and all right great thank you very much abina so let's do a clearing here okay very simple if you don't like yourself if you don't love yourself if you don't see yourself as a wonderful magnificent human being that you are will you ever discover and use your true power yes vipin ji uh ek line bolna chahunga sir yahan pe ki jab aap pehchan when you know you are going to be another person and you try you don't want to shift टेल योर सेल्फ अशेर इससे पहले कि हम बेवफा हो जाए इससे पहले कि हम बेवफा हो जाए क्यों ना दोस्त हम जुदा हो जाए अपने आप से बोले कैन यू ट्रांसलेट दैट ऑल्सो बिफोर आई बिकम अनू टू माई सेल्फ शुड आई से गुड बाई टू माई सेल्फ इज दैट एन एक ब्यूटिफुल एक और शायर मिल गया हमको कुनैन साहब <laughs> all right so <clears throat> yeah anything else you want to say vipin ji aapka hath khada hai yes kasa um so i just wanted to share something about dyslexia uh, you know uh, you know i'm part of this uh, ngo uh, round table and uh, you know we worked with government schools in identifying dyslexic people Hello. so they were <clears throat> then uh we were working uh, with uh, you know government schools to identify uh, dyslexic people in that program you know they shared one information you know uh, i think uh, people from tamil nadu they know uh, there is a uh, film uh, uh, lyricist his name is uh, kavinyar kannadasan he is a dyslexic person he never writes his shayari he always says his assistant only writes because he has challenges in writing but his his songs are so relevant even till today it is like you know it is like uh, uh, he 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 is uh, he has taken the film music to a different level and you know people it is relevant to till today and to tomorrow also he is such a genius sir and you know i was quite surprised you know there there been lot of the people also but something stuck into my mind was him so we don't need to worry that we have to do everything so uh, one observation from the dyslexic program is everyone has a certain strength. percentage of uh, strength and some weakness so we we can't be good at everything so we can express in the way we are good at and we can take some help in which is not we are good at uh, uh, so so i'm soon uh, expecting abhinav ji to uh, shayari is also soon in the session sir <laughs> yes 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 we will we will make him now he is declared it so he cannot escape it all right thank you very much all right let's do a clearing what energy space and consciousness can i be that would allow me to love me adore me and my life and realize what a wonderful magnificent extraordinary human being i am who deserves to be loved and respected for who i am right and wrong good and bad pot and pock oh nine shorts boys poets and beyond what energy space and consciousness can i be that would allow me to love me adore me appreciate me and my life and be the wonderful magnificent extraordinary human being that i am right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shorts boys poets and beyond so with that let me invite kuldeep ji kuldeep ji love to hear your shayari sir good morning sir shayar kehta hai कि वो जीवन भी क्या जीवन है 
जिसमें बिखरे कुछ शूल न हो वो जीवन भी का जीवन है जिसमें बिखरे कुछ शूल हो और नाविक की मैंने भी से हूं से कह रहा नाविक की धैर्य प्रतीक्षा क्या यदि धाराएं प्रतिकूल न मींस व्हाट इज दैट लाइफ वेर वी डोंट हैव एनी चैलेंजेस we cannot test the patience of a sailor if there are not opposite currents yeah if there is only smooth yes see beautiful thank you so much kuldeep ji thank you sir. wonderful uh kamal yeah aaj to aap camera pe aao yaar zara samne to aao chaliye chup chup ke chalne mein kya good morning sir good morning good morning good morning sir how are you morning यस सर वंडरफुल टॉपिक तो मैं यू नो इसमें जो एक और बात मुझे लग रही थी कि ना खुद पे होना मतलब वो अगेन वॉलरेबिलिटी जा जाती है नो यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट ऑल योर रिस्क ऑल योर क्लॉज मैं ऐसे एक डॉक्यूमेंट्री देख रहा था यूट्यूब में इट्स अबाउट अ गे कपल एंड दो दे एक्सेप्टेड देयर सेल्फ नो हु आर दे बट एट द सेम टाइम दे बिकम वनरेबल बिकॉज नो ऑफ द सोसाइटी कंस्टेंट्स और फियर ऑफ शेम नो दे ट्राई टू होल्ड देम बैक but at the same time they they you know they are being allowed to themselves and vulnerable uh shayari ki baat hai to ek beza garib ka ek shayar tha famous khud ke liye jo bolte the wo ki na tha na tha kuch to khuda tha kuch na hota to khuda hota dubo ya mujhko hone ne na hota main to kya hota translate please translate please ट था कि नो वेन देर वॉज नथिंग देर वॉज अ गॉड वेन देर वुड बी नथिंग देर विल बी गॉड माई एग्जिस्टेंस मेड बी ड्राउंड बिन इफ इफ आई डिडेंट एग्जिट देन वट वुड हैपन आई बी गॉड थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू यस सर पुनः साहब यस सर सर कुछ सवाल थे अगर वक्त है तो इफ यू हैव सम टाइम हाँ हाँ बोलो बोलो कुछ तो बोलो बिकॉज वट इज वट आई एम गेटिंग दिस टूडेज कॉन्वर्सेशन इज सॉर्ट ऑफ पैराडॉक्स दैट वी आर डिजायरिंग टू बिकम हु एग्जैक्टली वी आर रिटर्निंग टू योर सेल्फ एंड सॉर्ट ऑफ स्ट्रेंज पैराडॉक्स and uh, as you rightly mentioned that indoctrination and it is for everyone i mean that's how the society uh, we have curated and we live in so we can't escape the process of indoctrination majority maybe couple of few percentages uh, might have not gone through this or maybe the uh, upbringing or conditioning might have been done in the right way or whatsoever is uh, very close to the reality of the personality or the character of but in general sir majority indoctrination happens and then in the process uh, we lose ourselves so it's a bit challenging but uh, why like this that's what i was thinking so uh, wait in the process we lose ourselves right wouldn't it be interesting if you were able to recover yourself and find yourself definitely. that's why they say na find yourself definitely that's what i am personally in the process and thank you so much exactly for... so yeah. let us find ourselves no? so when we come here every morning when we participate when you question when you share it's a process of our finding ourselves true yeah that's okay sir that's fine the question what i am asking to you and if you allow me that uh, maybe not this time or later on that why like this i mean how does it make knowing uh, why how is you know no. in access we always say why is it not a question to be asked why were you given the name kunen why were you born in that family why are you born on planet earth why is there a god how many ways you want to know yaar sari zindagi lage rahe na why jaan ke milega kya aapko my question is if you got the answer to why what difference will it make I cannot answer that question. Obviously, neither can you. Neither can anyone. 
maybe we can go and ask god why sir why did you bring me on this planet he'll say but you chose it tumse pucha tha why did you make me get born in this family are bhai tum nahi bola tha why did you get chosen to be born in this particular life story wo bhi tumne chuna tha fir tum mujhse why kyun puch rahe ho bhai bhagwan bhi yahi kahega yeah but, just to, yeah i agree with you sir uh, you know recently the james webb uh, uh, telescope telescopes and the scientists they they found certain things and they say that gentlemen uh, this was not to be told to or known to the universe or the people so there are many things are hidden maybe at this stage at our level of intelligence are not able to find it the reason or the answer of this why but uh, i am curious as you always mention that be curious what else is possible what's happening so i am bit curious to know uh, uh, maybe not up to that extreme but yes i would like to understand why i am existing what's happening and why like this why i am been indoctrinated why this design has been done what is the purpose kind of things see indoctrination is clear indoctrination has been done to control you and instead of asking why like rashmi is also mentioning what and how are good questions to ask because at this point of time in our life even if we get the answer to why what difference will it make you know the question is what can i do now who can i be now theek hai wo interesting questions why i mean why has the creator created this planet earth why is he created milky way we don't know right however my purpose is what at least i am very clear on one thing my purpose is every experience is an opportunity for me to be a better version of myself and i believe better version exists inside us na we are like a very clear mirror with so much dust accumulated on it and we are afraid to you know reveal the true mirror because we are afraid what we'll find out inside and one of the reasons why is that we have many of us have not lived with integrity so we don't like ourselves that is why we are afraid to be ourselves i mean if you really ask me indoctrination definitely for control from times immemorial they condition you indoctrinate you so that they can control you they can define you and one question to know you know there are some people who escape definitions about everything and they are the great movers and shakers in this world they said that 3 to 4% people really make it to the top because they never allowed the world to define them yeah i remember long long ago 1982 i read this quote by george bernard shaw again you know right the reasonable man listen to this the reasonable man adapts himself to the circumstances and the unreasonable man creates the circumstances that he desires all progress belongs to unreasonable men i think the most unreasonable thing to do would be to have the courage of discovering and being who we really are and then we may discover our true power before we go to your shairi kunen i think vipan ji also wants to ask a question or something vipan ji go ahead you had raised your hand i was uh, about to say something on his question actually uh, <laughs> in my okay. way what i thought about him is that uh, there is a famous rule called 80 20 rule aur hum usko hindi mein bolte hain manmani aur buddhimani ka combination ke pareto principle yeah so like 80% uh, ek, ek, like if there is a tree there is a uh, lower part and upper, upper part trunk the trunk is fixed so 80% is fixed 20% is your choice so in that 20% you are supposed to choose what you want to be or not but there are certain rules and regulations in the society which are made for the betterment and discovered by people those are fixed you can challenge them also but in a slow process so that it is a gray shade from 20% to 80% so that's how you discover you don't become unstable in discovering yourself but some part like you choose to wear cloth you cannot say i would like to be without cloth in the in the public 
it's 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 something centralized and you have to live by them by discovering yourself you cannot say this to people they will not leave you so some things few things are centralized you can challenge them with slow passion but 20 percent is in your hand you can i cannot say today i am agriculturist tomorrow i will do this it will become an unstable process yeah yeah, yeah. so you so, remember vipanji there was a chap called galileo sir sir can i say something on this yeah, yeah. Galileo. i read a book called uh, against the gods and his in that book galileo's statement i read where when he was dying he said the whole life i try to figure out whether the god is there or not end of the day he said that it is a benefit to believe i uh, would uh, still we don't know uh, if he is there or not but it is good to believe that he is there hmm. but the but same man we, yeah. the same man was willing to challenge a theory and the world almost i think they burnt him or they were going to burn him right that the world is round magellan challenged that world view nobody was willing to believe nobody was willing to sail further than a particular right so sometimes there are people who are challenging and they make great discoveries for all of us so we have to find out what is optimum i mean obviously if you roam around naked on the street you will not be able to survive so you cannot contribute at all so to what extent and beautiful thank you very much vipin ji for sharing what you shared makes a lot of sense yes konen ji shairi ho jaye time to close ji jara shairi jo yaad aa rahi hai do line ke जिंदगी में सीखा है एक ही सबक हमने जिंदगी में सीखा है एक ही सबक हमने हर सितम के बदले में हंस के बस दुआ देना वाह 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 हर सितम के बदले में हंस के बस दुआ देना ट्रांसलेट भी कर दीजिए सर आई हैव लर्न जस्ट वन लेसन इन माय लाइफ आई हैव लर्न जस्ट वन लेसन इन माय लाइफ दैट फॉर एवरी disruption coming in my way or obstacles coming in my way in return of that a smile and give blessings to the situation to the people who so is greeting beautiful beautiful thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you kone and thank you everyone today who contributed to this conversation okay so i just want you to know i love you i adore you i admire you i cherish you I thank minute. you very much yes sir i have to thank uh, mr atul puri dhanyawad has to be in public <laughs> because of him i am here in your uh, community yeah yeah, so, yeah yeah thank you atul thank you it's my pleasure thank you and, and i've got a i've got a request ye hum jo hamare shayar jo share karte hain agar wo hum EMC WhatsApp group में शेयर कर पाए तो दैट बी इजीर फॉर अस हमने इनको कितनी बारी कहा है कभी याद रहता है ये सब बिजी आदमी है भाई <coughs> हमारे जैसे खाली नहीं बैठे हुए कुनैन साहब इतने बिजी हैं कमल धोकरे साहब बिजी हैं आप सब शायरों से इल्तिजा है कुछ हमारे <laughs> बारे में भी सोचिए <laughs> मैं कोशिश करूंगा कि इनके जो शेयर होते हैं ना हमारे चैनल पर उसको हम क्या कहते हैं एडिट कर कर पोस्ट करें आई ट्राई एंड डू दैट ओके थैंक यू फॉर रिमाइंडिंग मी टू डू दैट ऑल राइट सो थैंक यू वंस अगेन एवरीबॉडी थैंक यू फॉर योर कंट्रीब्यूशन थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग इन आवर लाइफ एंड हैव अ वंडरफुल डे रिमेंबर हु यू आर ऑल राइट सो लेट अस एंड दिस सेशन विद अ वंडरफुल 100% लाफ्टर 1 2 3 गो Why did you go mute? <laughs> Silent laughter is what we do here. Is it? Okay, I don't do that. We don't want to disturb the families, na, <laughs> or the neighbors. We don't. <laughs> my my family is used to it. <laughs> bye, everybody. Have a great day. All right, day. bye.